Hi folks, Tyrone here from Climb On in beautiful Squamish, British Columbia. I'm the product manager here for footwear and today we're gonna to talk about bouldering shoes. As you can see in the wall behind me, we've got an extensive assortment of shoes. We cater to folks who are trad climbers, sport climbers, and boulders. We've got all the best brands here at the store from La Sportiva to Scarpa, but we also have some of the um, other European brands like Tanaya and Boreal. And on the North American side of things, on this side of the pond, we have um, an extensive selection from Evolve and Unparalleled. There's a lot of shoes to choose from here. The good news is, is that you can boulder in almost any of these shoes. In fact, you can boulder in all of these shoes, right? They're rock shoes after all, and bouldering is just a part of rock climbing. However, to optimize your experience in bouldering, there are certain design elements of bouldering shoes which will help you along the way and um, make your experience uh, a, bit more, a bit more successful when it comes to sending your projects um, and a bit more fun as well. One of those elements is the closure system. Typically, the broadest two categories are hook and loop closures or Velcro. They're slippers that don't have hook and loop closure such as this. And then there are, of course, lace-up shoes. Now, the benefit of hook and loop closures or Velcro closures is easy on and off. So with bouldering, you're climbing a lot of cruxes. You're going from boulder to boulder. So you're taking your shoes on and off a lot. That's where this closure system comes in. You can imagine undoing those laces all the time and what a hassle that would be. Now, you can't fine tune these shoes as much as you can with laces. But having said that, the benefit of being able to take your shoe on and off quickly, dropping that heel, far outweighs the benefit of the nuances of using a lacing system. The second element that I want to talk about is, is fit related, but it's actually got to do with the heel. Here in Squamish, there's a lot of heel hooking and how your heel fits is almost as important as how your forefoot fits. What you want in the heel is no dead space. You want it to fit snugly, much like you want your forefoot to fit. So from heels to toe caps, that's another design element that's really important. When I'm talking about toe caps here, I'm talking about this area at the front of the shoe on top. Like, why on top? Typically, all the action is down below the shoe. But when you're bouldering, a lot of times, steeper terrain, you're trying to get purchased wherever you can, often you'll be doing something called a toe hook, where you're actually trying to grab with the top of your shoe. Any old shoe will grab to a certain extent, but once you plaster it with rubber, that's where you get the real effect of the grip on the rock. And that'll enable you to stick that toe hook, prevent that swing, and let you send the problem, which is, after all, what you want to do. So a lot of the shoe models that we carry, they come in both a regular or higher volume and a lower volume shoe. Sometimes the differentiation is between men's and women's. So lower volume shoes tend to be for smaller feet, lower arches, um, and uh, Heel, heels that have a bit less volume on them and where the scoop and cutout for the heel bones is lower so that it fits a bit better. So just be aware of that, not all the models have that. So we covered a lot of ground here when it comes to bouldering shoes. Um, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any further questions though and you want help with the shoes, uh, be sure to um, visit us online. There's a lot of information that we have in articles and also our full assortment is available uh, through online purchase. Uh, best of all, if you can make it to Squamish and come visit us here at the store, we'll be able to give you really good service 